In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at combining techniques to make an interesting end result. Here we're looking at three videos that we're going to put on the screen, all of which end with a frozen frame. So if I click on the first one and go, and go ahead and play it, uh, we see the uh, two individuals. They're on the left side of the screen and they're frozen and then the video starts and it plays accordingly. And then when we get to the end of the video, the action freezes again. And the same thing happens with our video in the upper right corner. It starts frozen and ends frozen. And the same thing with the third one. It starts frozen and then it ends frozen as well. So where do we go from here? What I'd like to do next is I'd like to stack the videos. So I'm going to give myself a little more real estate here. And we're going to take uh, the first one and the second one. And move this to a different track here. There we go, move it to track two. And then I'll take the other one and we'll drag that down to track number three. Now what you're going to see then is that when we have these images stacked on top of each other, and I'm going to right click here and do uh, adjust video track height and make it small. You can't see that on the screen, but that's an easy way to do that. Uh, when I click my cursor on top, I see all three together and they're playing just like I want to. So I have all three videos playing. However, when I have the cursor on top of any of the still images, I wind up with some black turf. Now, how do I, how do I fix that? Well, the way we do that is to use another technique. We're going to take each of these still shots and we're going to use um, our, our tool, often called the green screen tool, our chroma key. So I'm clicking on the still image here. I'm going to drag down, click on chroma key. Now normally I have to eye drop a color, but the default is black and I want a chroma key black. So I don't have to click on anything. It's got the right color. I just click on OK. And I'm going to chroma key the second one, double click. And we'll go down to the duck one with all this black around it. Chroma key the picture, click OK. And then we'll go to the third one and we'll double click to get into edit mode and my pip designer. And I want to chroma key that the default's black and I click OK. Now you're going to see something different when we start out. If I go to the beginning and hit go to movie, hit play. OK, now, even though I'm at still images, I see all three of them. OK, so that's part of the technique we want to do. Now we're going to have to also do the same thing at the end image. We're going to have to chroma key that uh, because we have black where we don't want it. So what I'm going to do is do the same technique. Um, double click on the image and each one and go into chroma key. Leave it black and click OK. I'll pause this while I do the two that remain. The next thing I want to do is after each image is done playing, I want to change the picture from a normal frozen shot to a colorized frozen shot. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to take this top video here and we'll go ahead and hit the space bar and play it. And you notice it, it's frozen here the one with the family, but I'd like to make it look some somehow, make it look special. Let me show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effects room and I'm going to click on an effect that I want. Uh, let's pick something like uh, color painting. I'll take that effect and drag it down on top of the frozen image, the still image. I'm also going to color paint the second image. 
and then I'm going to color paint the third image as well. So now I've done something different. The result for each of these clips is pretty interesting. Let me go ahead and just show you the one for the family. Notice the panel on the left. We're going ahead and play that. And you see it freezes and colorizes all at once. That's kind of cool. So one of the things we're going to do is watch that happen for each of the clips. Now we're we'll look at the duck clip for a moment. I'll go ahead and play that. And the duck clip is going and it freezes and it colorizes. Now the next thing we want to do is order these clips slightly differently. So that will be lesson number three. Thank you.